Hey y'all, it's Michael and today I'm here to talk about Bedrock Faith by Eric Charles May. This was the pick for Read So Lit uh, for Black History Month in February. Read So Lit was started by Didi from Brown Girl Reading. It's a hashtag for booktubers, Instagrammers, bloggers, etc. Whoever actually, readers in general to read more books by black authors. Going into this book, uh, I actually didn't know that much about it and it was in the end quite enjoyable and I really liked it. This is about a community slash neighborhood uh, called Parkland in Chicago and we start off with Stewpot arriving from prison. The neighbor across the street basically, Miss Motley, sees him coming back and this book basically focuses on around this community because the perspective changes but our main character is basically uh, Ms. Motley and the perspective changes and we see community of neighbors and essentially what gossip and talk affects a community and this neighborhood. It starts off as him being portrayed as like an antagonist almost uh, because it makes it seem as though he is the one that everybody will be going up against uh, but in it's it's like this gray area almost which I really enjoyed each book is essentially like within each section it's basically like an episode so we get to see how this neighbor like the, the the dynamics of the neighborhood interact with each other this book is really funny it hones down on how gossip and just basically talk can really affect a community uh growing up i would say i lived in a close-knit in the philippines i live in in filipino culture in general uh there is a lot of gossip a lot of talk so you see this quite frequently and it's really fascinating seeing it uh, come to life on here. This book really focuses on like relationships and what I mean by that is it's also portrayed really interestingly because there are moments within like sections of the book where it's not we're not even following characters like we're just following random people and as they gossip that's how we obtain information and it really blends this line of what is truth and what is essentially made up. One of the topics that this book really does cover is religion. Uh, <laughs> Stupat in prison re rediscovers himself within uh, this religion and it is interesting because a lot of the hijinks and a lot of the problems ensues because of Stupat's newfound religion and how he is trying to basically make things right and portray his thoughts and what his religion says to others and it is so fascinating because a lot of the times um, I, 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 can, I can really see this book being, I wouldn't say, I don't know, a lot of people say realistic, but it's really plausible. The way that these characters behave and the things that they say, uh, it reminded me of a lot of people that I know and a lot of, it just seemed this is a thriving community and uh, I mean, they even have like community meetings. really enjoyed also is how the story unfolds uh, because while even though it's kind of episodic, it is following a streamlined plot essentially and it's great because we see these things building up and essentially it comes like headlong and it, everything that each episode is essentially building up will come to a conclusion in the end. I do have to talk about the ending too. Um, no spoilers here but the ending uh, for me anyways felt really, I don't know if rushed is the correct word but it seemed almost like as an afterthought uh, because it almost, I don't know if May was trying to say something more meaningful but what I got out of it personally for me was uh, it was almost as if he was trying to justify uh, the reasonings behind his actions and I just, re while reading the whole story, I never got in that vibe and I just thought that Stewpot literally just came from prison and trying to make things correct and right. Uh, but I'm really in intrigued and interested to hear what other people think about this end the ending because it is really, I don't know, it's it, it was so different because I was like, Oh, it just it just felt so rushed and at the end I was just like hmm it, I'm always interested in that like why an author decides to make a choice and I'm really interested to see what to hear what May's choice is but for me I just thought it felt really um, 
slapped on and rushed. Yeah, we have this character, right, who comes from prison and he's trying to do right again. Um, and I almost felt as though there was this stigma because he was from prison and he um, he he did commit a crime. And I felt as Miss Motley was the only one that was slightly willing to give him a second chance, almost like a tiny bit unput. I always believe in second chances, that's just for me, but don't get it twisted. The third one, that's it. That's done. There's no thing, there's no such thing as a third chance. But, you know, giving someone a second chance, I always believe, that's a personal belief of mine, um, to give people second chances. But I felt as though, like, no one really gave him second chances. And it is, again, like a character thing that these characters decide not to do and I found it funny because a lot of the since this has to deal with like an aspect of this has to deal with religion I found it funny that when he was trying to show the other members of the neighborhood the neighbors they're hypocrite hypocrites it was just really intriguing to read and really funny also one of my favorite characters on here I do have to say is um, James the Baptist and that is his dog and let me just say I I love dogs in stories all the time and this one it got me I, I really I, I and, and then he was a pit bull so that made it even better but yeah, I really enjoyed James um yeah I just I, I like I like I always enjoy dogs in, in, in novels I do also have to say that I think Stu Pot um, some of the choices that he makes is really questionable and I do agree that because uh, some people would we're talking about it in the group chat but some of the things that he did choose to do it was unacceptable <laughs> but some of them i was like hmm it was pretty funny it was really 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 interesting so yeah i overall i really enjoyed this novel i thought it was um really funny it's, it's very character driven and i'm glad that the main focus was on stupot and Miss Motley, I really enjoyed those two characters the most and I'm glad that May chose to basically stick with them because they are they were so insightful, especially Miss Motley. Miss Motley's plotline was really interesting. Um, writing style wise, it was very in your face, um, very factual in that way, but I think that's great because since this is about a community and a neighbor, a, a neighborhood that's about gossip and um, <laughs> what gossip basically will do, uh, like the effects of gossip. Uh, I think that was really interesting the way he chose to write uh, because some of the chapters he will, um, it will switch to like not, not even characters that we know at all, just random, random neighbors and they talk they're like gossiping essentially like at the nail salon or the hair salon or like at the barbershop like the random places and it's really interesting to see what actually happened versus what they actually say as gossip uh so yeah i gave it four stars out of five i really enjoyed it and i would recommend it if you read the novel let me know what you think about it until then i'll see you guys till later bye yeah, in case you're wondering this is a really pretty background but there are bees everywhere like no lie, you guys.